Evaluation question one. I have made three er er areas of production in on my blog. A trailer named Divide, a poster also named with the title Divide, and a magazine which I decided to call Real Zoom. Each area of production has many, many elements throughout them which have used um, elements from existing media products to help me. Some of them have developed them to give it edge and make it my own, and some have definitely challenged them, which is to make my areas unique, which I felt would uh, further represent my genre, which is drama. Firstly, my magazine is called Real Zoom, and it took inspiration from mainly the, uh, the existing magazine Empire. There are many, many elements which I have embedded onto my magazine from uh, Empire, such as the masthead. The masthead on my magazine Real Zoom is in a bold white font which stretches across the whole width of uh, my magazine page, which is very typical um, of magazines such as Total Film and Empire. I did this to make it look professional and to exist. If it was amongst other magazines, it can exist and maybe be competitive amongst them. In terms of views, develop and challenge, within my magazine, there are many examples on my magazine which I have used existing uh, elements. The key image on my magazine is of my model who uh, alongside me stars in my trailer. And the, it is a mid shot of uh, Owen and it stretches throughout centrally in my magazine and it's also over the top of my masthead which you can see here it was embedded from the July 2010 issue of Empire of Inception uh, starring Leonardo DiCaprio also as well as that um, on my magazine you can see here on April 2014 issue of Empire uh, which covers Captain America the Winter Soldier there's a strip towards the bottom of the page this is a cover line um, on Empire, which is um, informing the readers of films which are coming out soon. This is um, an element which I have embedded onto my magazine, as you can see at the bottom of the page with a red strip. I have uh, named a few of the films coming out in the upcoming months, such as Avengers Infinity War and Deadpool 2. Uh, these are definitely features which would encourage audiences to buy the magazine, as they will find out um, behind the scenes information on future films. Another element um, from existing magazines which I have used is from Total Film. As you can see on the masthead here of Total Film, the word total is within the word film. I've embedded this as, as you can see here in real zoom. I have um, I've put zoom in a small font, also the, sa the same font as a real, but as a small text within the, within the L. I felt this was quite an uh, interesting idea and something I would... Um, embed onto mine as I wouldn't want to, the two separate words real zoom to stretch across it I wanted real to be a the larger font and the larger size to dominate most of the masthead as as you can see here underneath real I have added a little slogan which would be unique to my magazine saying this month was real spelled R-E-L-L -L. also the same as my masthead I felt this was something which would be unique to my magazine and something which would which uh, readers would become loyal to. Um, in terms of my trailer, there are many elements from existing trailers which I have used as a, for example, the cinematography here of this shot I attempted to replicate, replicate from the film The Judge, which is also within my genre drama. We can see uh, the main character here, Robert Downey Jr., is head from behind. This is a shot I have um, embedded and added into my own trailer as you can see a picture of me here from my trailer also in terms of narrative my trailer was highly inspired by films such as warrior and the judge um my film my trailer focuses on the relationship between two brothers who have uh, sadly been divided uh, hence the title by complications uh, one brother has left uh, their family for money and his career uh, which is very similar to the one of Warrior, as two brothers are divided and brought back together um, by the death of one of their parents. Uh, another inspiration is Imitation Game. Imitation Game is one of my favourite films and falls within the genre drama. I try to embed a lot of features from Imitation Game into my trailer.
On my poster, there are also many features which have been used from existing media. Um, my poster was kind of influenced by films such as Silence, directed by Martin Scorsese, and Captain America Civil War, directed by the Russo brothers. Um, hence the title Divide, I felt like I needed something within my poster which would uh, back up the title. But, however, in terms of real existing media, um, the same here as Silence, as you can see, with the two characters within the middle of the of the poster, uh, mid shots or close ups to express the uh, facial expression by the actors. Also, in use, I think it's very typical convention of a poster to have a large uh, title, as you can see here, would divide in a black font, which I felt was very necessary to make it stand out amongst my key image. In terms of the develop stage, uh, I feel my poster has many elements which have been developed from existing uh, media, as for example, the tagline of my poster is embedded within my actual title. Um, typically, within a drama poster, the tagline will be placed above or below uh, the title, with examples here from films in my genre such as Titanic and Denial. These were just some of the first posters I found after searching a drama poster, and it is quite a typical convention of a film poster in general, which I felt I would develop on and actually add my tagline within my title. Um, as you can see here, another form of development, if I compare my poster to the poster of the drama film The Railway Man, uh, there are many notable differences, such as my white background against the colourful brownish yellow background of the railway man. Also, I thought it was important to add my cast names above uh, the actors who appear in my trailer. This is very opposite to, our, to the railway man, as uh, the cast names are within the title and the uh, tagline. I felt I was important to develop this to um, make my poster completely different to those within my genre. Another form of development is I didn't feel the need to make a real credit box within my poster. Um, I've only added the institution companies, a website uh, which uh, viewers could uh, visit to see more behind the scenes footage of my trailer. Uh, I felt it was important to have my poster dominated by the title and the large key images within the cent uh, centrally of the page. This is very opposite to posters within my genre such as A Beautiful Mind and King's Speech, as you can see here, who have full credit boxes uh, to those who have made the film. Still within the development area, my magazine has uh, many areas of development I felt uh, were necessary to embed. As you can see here in the August 2008 issue of Empire, there is no text over the masthead here on um, uh, on this issue of Empire. However, I felt it was necessary to add text above my uh, masthead, uh, reading 30-page Oscars preview inside. It was just another cover line I felt looked better above my tagline to further um, encourage readers to purchase the magazine as it uh, as it, my magazine is a December uh, edition the Oscars were um, soon coming up it would it's in within the real world it is definitely a feature which would be highly encouraging to readers also another development stage here as you can see on the January 2009 issue of Empire based on Wolverine origins there is a lot of text down the sides of the magazine. A lot of the magazine cover of this edition is um, dominated by text. This is something I developed on as I have um, kind of have a lack of text on my uh, magazine. I felt this was very necessary to make the focus my key image and um, masthead. In terms of um, my text, I only have two cover lines down the side of the magazine, which are uh, based on two upcoming films, Venom and Ocean's 8. Another area of um, development is the black, black background I have uh, I have used. I felt like within my, my image is quite dark with a black coat and you can only really see my model's face. I felt like this was quite representative of my genre drama, which is quite opposite to those of Empire, as 
as you can see in these examples here, uh, the February 28th edition of Empire and the t July 2010 issue based on Black Panther and Inception. These colourful backgrounds and backgrounds which are linked to the film kind of give away, you know, they kind of link the the background to what the actual film is about. I felt this wasn't necessary as mine is a drama and um, it would leave suspense for viewers going to see the film. Where I feel my trailer has developed on existing media is my, f my trailer focuses on the relationships within a family and I express the point of view of two characters opposed to some drama such as Imitation Game which is mainly focused on one character. As you can see here the trailer is dominated by the actor Benedict Cumberbatch where I feel my trailer is uh, split in terms of footage uh, expressing the point of views of my two brothers who dominate the film. Um, in terms of the challenge stage of, uh, challenge stage of my magazine, um, I believe I have completely challenged the typical calls and conventions of a magazine with my colour scheme. Um, I believe my magazine challenges the typical colours used in a film magazine with the inclusion of gold. The typical three colour scheme of an uh, existing magazine such as Empire would be red, white and black. However, I decided to use the colour black as my background to allow the face of my modern cover lines to look more professional and represent my genre much more. I also believe as my film is drama based, it has been very difficult to express my, my drama to my target audience. As if we look at examples of magazine covers from existing magazines such as Empire and Total Film, they are highly dominated by big, big blockbuster films which would uh, fall in the action genre such as these um, Marvel films and Star Wars etc. I have used these coding conventions such as the main star um, dominating my uh, magazine as you can see with these examples um, however within my, my genre being drama uh, I think the dark colours are very necessary to ch ch uh, challenge the normal coding conventions as these typical magazines would focus on a lighter genre such as action or comedy in terms of my trailer, I believe I have strongly challenged the typical drama with a lack of de uh, diegetic sounds. There is only one case within my trailer of diegetic sounds of dialogue on screen, which is a scene which takes place quite early on in my trailer between me and another character. I wanted the sound throughout my trailer to focus on the score and the voiceover to reveal as lit little as possible to the plot. I felt the score is very important within dr uh, drama trailers, as you can see here within the Im imitation game. If I don't fancy her in that way. Can't tell anyone, no. It's illegal. I'm just a mathematician. Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine. I think a voiceover is more, much more effective than diegetic sounds as I feel like it's a pretty sensitive uh, topic which my film revolves and it feels as if it's a private conversation which shouldn't really be demonstrated on screen. My poster also has many conventions which challenge the typical coding conventions and as you can see here, um, these rectangular shapes which I added in, which are in the central of the poster to divide me and uh, Owen. Oh, and, uh, and also the the diversity of shots within my poster. Owen is, is seen here within a close-up, and I am demonstrated within a mid-shot. Um, so to include two different shot types within one poster, I believe, definitely challenges the codes and conventions. Um, also, within my genre, on my poster, I feel I have challenged the typical codes and conventions. As you can see here, as my poster is dominated by the colour black, as you can see with the text of my title, my cast names, uh, the features of the in institution company and uh, the coming soon text, as well as the mise en scene, as you can see um, the t-shirts and pants worn by me and Owen are black. I felt like this was quite representative of the genre as it is a quite dark film which would receive, which my target audience would be the age of 15. 
Um, as you can see with these examples of the King's Speech and Dallas Buyers Club, these um, posters highly rely on colours such as red and blue, which is quite opposite to mine, as I feel I have challenged the typical cosy conventions of the drama poster.